The time now, it is 11 o'clock on this Saturday night, June 14th, 2014 on a Saturday night. Time now for Water Magician PJ Wins, the late night report. Saturday night, June 14th, 2014. Good evening, everybody. Our current condition is 11 o'clock in North Massachusetts. We got a temperature of 65 degrees overcast, guys. Fuel of the day, 61%. Wind speed variable about 7 miles per barometer. 291 inches, 2.5, 51 degrees, and a visibility of 10 miles. Alright, let's take a look at our radar scope and shells. What was once down poles over southeastern Massachusetts are now some steady bands of rain from mid Cape around High Island is in search and off the Cape Downs and a batch of rain showers southeastern tip and then tuck it here. Batch of rain showers off south shore and batch of rain showers off to the north shore. And a blob of rain showers in seven portions of March. And a couple of that just a lot of rain showers from north up northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and up to the northwest and up in the northeast Maine and that for Southern New Brunswick and Western and Eastern portions of North Scotia and Apple, West Central portions of Prince Edward Island and the South Central portions of Prince Edward Island. Batch of rain showers in Eastern portions of Quebec. Spotty bands of heavy rain and storms ran central and southern portions of Florida here and off the Bahamas here. Slobs of rain shots and storms from north central Mexico down for southwestern Rio Valley of Texas here and central portion of Texas and patch of the rain shots in the southeast of Texas north of Houston and a lot of shots and storms from western Kansas down for Nebraska down for northwestern Iowa down for southeastern South Dakota down for Minnesota western Wisconsin and up in Ontario southern Manitoba down for southern Saskatchewan down for northern North Dakota down for Montana and down for northeastern Idaho down for northern Wyoming some snow and sleet around the Yellowstone Valley of Wyoming and then for Sun Valley of Idaho. Steve Grossman's the nominee, but he's behind in the polls. And, the and polls, but she barely came in second place. Spotty and rain showers in the northeastern portions of Washington State and Northern Idaho, stretching up the British coming to Western Alberta. And spotty rain showers in central and northern portions of Nevada. Air and a batch of rain showers off the southern portions of California. And this is two cells. Look at those. Sales contain tornadoes from to northwestern Kansas, stretching in the Memphis, southern, south central Nebraska, and around central Nebraska. And there is a not there's a possible tornado around southwest Olympia, Washington, but that it's a weak routine tornado here. Chambers Massacre. Good evening. 67 degrees with scatter clouds. All right, let's take a look at our. 5 p.m. The dam was closed off. Satellite though, bearing in its shells. Patrick Clouds. Covering close to New England and stretching in northern New England and food. Big question though, my Guam. Atlanta, Canada and stretching the dam for Southern Florida. Batch of clouds covering West Central Texas and Batch of clouds covering the Great Lakes and then Minnesota, Iowa and food. The Dakotas and food, Nebraska and food, Kansas. And Batch of clouds from South to North Rock is up in the past seven hours for Southern Eastern California and Nevada and for Utah and Batch of clouds from Western New England and Washington and up in the Bridge coming to Alberta and up in the Yukon. There. Okay, let's stick with our map situation. Cold front for the north central Arizona, section of southern Utah, down for southern Cover, and then up in Kansas, Nebraska. Warm front from southeast is after going down for Iowa, down for north central Missouri, and a big front down in Dakota. Stage front from Arkansas, stretching in the Mississippi, down, stretching down for southeast is a cold from South Carolina, up the Atlantic seaboard, and warm front from western North Coast, down to sea. And a cold front from southeast is Ontario, and up in Quebec. And we got one from the north, eastern North Dakota, down for north central Minnesota, northern Wisconsin. And for the bottom, we down for the western Texas, for the bottom, from southwestern Arizona, and western Mexico. And for the bottom, north central California. And for the bottom, from central Idaho, down for Montana, and for the bottom, from northern North Dakota, down for northern Montana, and straight down in Alberta. And we got Colton up, Washington State. 
Wayne. We got low pressure in Eastern Washington State, down the quarters, and seven Utah, Colorado, and seven Arizona, and Mexico. And we got low pressure in down East Maine, and high pressure in Lake Erie. 78 degrees at temperature in Boston. 71 in Washington, D.C. It's 81 out in Atlanta, Georgia, 82 in Miami, 83 in Brownsville, Texas, 88 in Dallas, Texas, 79 in Kansas, 74 in Chicago, 61 in Minneapolis, it's 51 in Great Falls, Montana, 62 in Seattle, 66 in San Francisco and Salt Lake City, 68 in Los Angeles, 59 in Denver, and 87 in Albuquerque. Here, current nation in the Manhattan region, we got 67 degrees at temperature in Boston. It's 61 in Fitchburg, 62 in Bedford, 66 in Beverly, 64 in Gloucester, 56 in Worcester, 57 in Sturbridge, 59 in Webster, 62 in Milford, 65 in Norwood, 67 in Taunton, 65 in Bedford, 64 in Falmouth, 61 in Chatham, hit 61 in Provincetown, 62 in Marston Reader, and then that. Second, 59 in Cape Cod 62, 63 out in Buckon, 61 in West Point, 57 in Smithfield, it's 59 in Springfield, 58 in Amherst, 59 in Greenfield, 53 in Pittsfield, 57 in Northam, so it's 59 in Albany, 57 out in Bainton, Vermont, 54 in Brownsburg, Vermont, 56 in Keene, Hampshire, 62 in Cockerton, New Hampshire, 58 in Manchester, New Hampshire, 64 in National New Hampshire, it's 67 out in Potsdam, New Hampshire, and we got 58 in Winslow, 16 in Hartford, 59 in Meriden, it's 57 in Wah. The rate 58 in Denver, 69 in New Haven, 62 in Bridgeport, 63 in Long Island, 62 in Montauk, 62 in Islip, and it's 64 out in New York City. You know, we feel like a tighter community. And the bar owner tells us there is... Oh, wait. Forecast discussion around the country. There'll be a slight risk of some severe thunderstorms from the Texas Panhandle, the Evan Mississippi Valley. There'll be embedded mo region of a moderate risk of severe thunderstorms from parts of the Central Plains, Middle of Missouri Valley. Heavy rain possible in parts of the Central Plains and the Middle of Missouri Valley. A storm moving at Northern Plains will lift northward and in the Central Canada by Monday morning and showers and thunderstorms will be moderate rain. We'll develop along and out of the associated front from the Upper Mississippi Valley to the Central Plains that will move into the Great Lakes Ohio Valley by Monday. A secondary showers and thunderstorms will develop underneath the upper level energy on Saturday night. And meanwhile, an upper level low over the west coast of Canada will build itself further into the past seven hours by Monday. The associated front will move onshore over the past seven hours overnight Saturday and then move inland to the northern Iron plains to the Great Basin on Monday to rain will develop the downshows will develop over parts of the Norfolk Rockies Sunday afternoon and Monday. In addition, rain will develop over the parts of the Cascade Sunday and Monday. Fair for more moisture from the Gulf of Mexico will move in the part of the central northern plains overnight Sunday that will aid in the development of the showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the region and the Rye. And a bunch of warm friend and elsewhere at the level <coughs> over energy over there. The southeast will aid in the production of scattered showers and thunderstorms over the parts of the southeast central Gulf Coast on Saturday and on Monday. And again, showers and thunderstorms will develop over the parts of the west Texas on Saturday evening and just Low pressure over the main will slowly move northeast for the hour for the evening. Ending by Sunday evening, light rain also to move the system to large linger over parts of the northern New England flat Sunday morning. Here, the new president declared Sunday a day of mourning. This was the death forecast discussion in New England. There, a cold front will move offshore tonight, followed by high pressure Sunday. The high will set up. And the the middle and coast early next week with warming temperature, cold front approaches Monday now and Tuesday with scattered showers and thunderstorms isolated. And I'm afraid energy will bring more perspective for midweek and dry, but cool weather will work in late next week. And near term until 6 a.m. Sunday morning, 10 p.m. up, the cold front was struggling to move eastward this evening. The first that stalled over the canal, prior to looking at wind observation beyond the front, dry air is moving in, the temperatures continue to drop, and winds are gusting quickly beyond the front. As Boston and Providence have gusted a 20 knots, and winds will die down over the next few hours, as after a few middle level clouds, and to be a million clear down in. Pre Islamic militants, a bloodthirsty group of fundamentalists who have overrun large parts of northern Iraq and are closing in on the capital. Baghdad is bracing for an attack from the ISIS fighters, as the fighters of the Islamic State. And Syria unknown. The U.S. labeled them terrorists. The we have a slight risk of some severe weather from eastern Texas and stretching it out from Northern Oklahoma and eastern Kansas down from central Missouri and from eastern Iowa, much of Illinois, and western Indiana and southern Wisconsin and some larger areas, Chicago, Illinois, Kansas City, Kansas and Kansas City, Missouri, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Wichita, Kansas, and Probably about the integrity of this country. The White House is on high alert. Pentagon officials are drawing up contingency plans to evacuate 5% for Florida and highest. Risk of severe weather, 15% from eastern Texas down to Nova Oklahoma, down to eastern Kansas, Missouri, down to eastern Iowa, Illinois, western Indiana, and southern Missouri means hail, damaging winds. Few tornadoes are possible here, so those who are in this area, listen to your weather for further updates here. And 
let's take a look at the liaison, Tropical Storm Christina. Potentially putting the U.S. and Iran in the same boat, trying to help. 11 o'clock updates. Now, it's a Tropical Storm wave. Michelle it's location 19, putting north 112.3 to the west, and maximum wind 40 miles per hour, gusting up to 50 miles per hour, moving west northwards about 5 miles per hour. Minimum pressure 1,003 millibars here. Square, more than 200 groups and National Hurricane Center is issued in advisories and tropical storm Christina located a few hundred miles south, southwest of the Summit tip of the bar, California Peninsula, New Mexico, and tropical cyclone formation in the, not expected during the next five days. And, and next on New Center 5. Sunshine, seasonally warm temperatures, and light surfing making a fine beach day Sunday for tomorrow for Father's Day weekend. So, if you got Father's Day activities such as golfing, boating, Swimming, playing baseball, walking, grilling, any Father's Day activity. It'll be a perfect Father's Day weather for a perfect Father's Day tomorrow. Alright, let's take a look at our look outside here on this Saturday night. Oh my, look at this. Look at this. A little drizzling in the air. The moon's trying to peek over to the bit of clouds. Oh, a little breeze. Oh, it's going to be a beautiful night with some clouds in the air over north, but it's going to clear up, but mainly clear night in town. All right, let's take a look at a seven day forecast. In the new all-wheel drive, we're at four. And it goes like this. For tonight, while you sleep in the new home nine hours of tonight, we are going to see some park skies, skies, warm 36 degrees and northwest moon about 8 miles per hour. For Sunday, most of the sun skies are under 80 degrees and northwest moon about 10 miles per hour, because it's 20 miles per hour. Saturday night, most of the sun skies are low 55 degrees, north moon about 5 miles per hour, because it's common evening. Monday, sun skies are under 82 degrees, and the only variable wind we get up around 6 miles per hour in the afternoon. Monday night, park skies are low 59 degrees, south moon about 6 miles per hour. Tuesday, church and showers and fun, so mainly after 11 a.m., park the sun skies are under 84 degrees. Chance of preservation 30%. Tuesday night, park skies are low 64 degrees, and for well, Wednesday, chance of showers, parts of the sun skies are under 82 degrees, and chance of preservation 30%. Wednesday night, park skies are low 63 degrees, and Thursday, most of the sun skies are under 80 degrees. Thursday night, Park has gone down 60 degrees, Friday, most of the sky's down here, 67 degrees. Friday night, Park has gone down 59 degrees, but Saturday, most of the sky's down here, 75 degrees. So, if you're going next week to the Founders Day picnic in Norton for you Northern night, it'll be perfect weather, but we'll check the weather. Otherwise, it'll be a good day. All right. Peter Channel News Time is now 11.12 and it's time now for a little traffic report. It is now Dunkin'. Try the delicious new grilled chicken flatbread with ancho chipotle sauce today. America's runs on Dunkin'. It's Dave Lady New England, presented by Toyota and the new all-wheel drive for F4. And we'll check the traffic out. Look in. Smooth sailing on highways by the New England. That's a page which we have a good night. We're good positive. I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning. Good night.